welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that fun highlight in our little discussion of how we enjoy Taste of Asia. That was in Pacific Mall in Markham. So if you're in the area and you know it's summer, you should check that out. Now, we're going into Spotlight where the issue is, should the NBA allow super teams? Let's look at all our perspectives in the Spotlight. The question is, should super teams be allowed in the NBA? Now, this idea really came when Carmelo and Gary Payton joined the likes of Kobe and Shaq to play for the Lakers and win a title. Of course, that didn't go so well. But then it became overly out of proportion when James, Chris Bosh joined the likes of Dwayne Wade in their prime to play for Miami Heat to win a title together. Of course, that went even better. Now, this discussion is going back again because Durant decided to play for the Warriors, a team that won 72 games and went all the way to the NBA Finals. Now they have a former MVP and a leading scoring champion, former leading scoring champion, playing alongside with them. Now this idea of super team is being really blown out of proportion and being discussed widely and a lot of people are giving it a lot of hype and a lot of hate. But what I want to look at are the organization. The organizations in terms of how they manage their finances, how they manage their salary cap to be able to do this. It's not in terms of super teams being made, it's not in terms of players deciding to go in here and getting bargained, but in terms of this organization being able to manage their finance really well, being to sign the right key players, the right type of contracts for each player that they sign in their organization, which allowed them to have this opportunity to sign superstar players already on a great team. This is what Golden State has shown us. They were able to manage their finance really well so that they'd be able to sign a player like Durant even though they already have superstars like Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. So it's not, a, it's not a matter of super teams being made, whether it should be banned or not. It's a matter of how good are organizations like the Warriors to be able to do some things like this and sign superstar players on a really good contract because they manage their finance well. What do you got, Jay? When super teams are formed, there's a lot of hype to it, and we can't wait to see the first game that the newly formed team will play in. The comparison between LeBron's super team in Miami and Kevin Durant's in Oakland it was very different. Miami, at the time, were not contending for a championship or having even won a championship since Wade and Shaq. Uh, the Dur Kevin Durant situation with the Warriors is that the Warriors still won a championship in recent years and currently have the best record in the NBA. Kevin Durant joined a team that he couldn't beat. LeBron joined a team with his best friend. But at the end of the day, forming super teams in the great, is great for the NBA because of money. When LeBron joined the Heat, TV ratings were up, merchandises were being sold, ticket prices were even higher. This will happen again with Kevin Durant and the Warriors. The salary cap is already going up because the new TV deal, but it will even go higher because of this newly formed super team. Any basketball fan saying that Kevin Durant going to the Warriors is a bad move for his career because he can't he can't win a championship he, he can win a championship with the Thunder would be lying if they said they weren't going to watch his games. Those who hate Kevin Durant are still going to watch his games because they want to see him lose. And the majority of the people who hate him are in Oklahoma City, which will generate revenue and ratings for the NBA. So one side we got the upside of money generating for the league and their sponsors, and the other side is the small topic of competitiveness competitiveness of the league is going down because the majority of the superstars want to join one team, potentially winning multiple championships. PJ, what do you got? Should super teams be in the NBA? What I think is that they shouldn't allow it. The reason why is I believe that every team should have a good chance of making good games when they come into the playoffs. Super teams you already know or you already really think and really hope or not hope, but you know that they're gonna make it far either through a sweep or because they're just overing, overpowering a lower seed or a different team. With everyone being even, or not even, but being, you know, with the stars of their own, it's a better way for audience and fans to watch and be more loyal to their franchise. As soon as a superstar leaves a franchise, it's either hate or they just bandwagon, people say bandwagon, to a different team. I believe the NBA should make sure that they keep superstars in their place or just prevent superstars from getting um, and, you know, joining each other. Because what does that do to each franchise individually? You want to make sure that every audience in every location, I guess this is a business decision for the NBA, that every, every fan base is more and more happy with the franchise that they're supporting. If everyone ends up being 
if everyone ends up joining each other team because of they want to be with another superstar, you'll end up just with four or five teams, and it will it'll it'll end up being an all-star game. And we have all-star games happening. Let's save superstars joining each other at an all-star game rather than in the regular season. Let's make them play for for battling for the championship themselves and not being, you know, taking the easy way out. So let's figure out a way, NBA please, to make sure that the superstars stay in their teams and make a name for themselves, rather than taking the easy way out and joining everyone, uh, any of their friends, and making it, you know, not that exciting of a playoffs. We wanna see close games, we wanna see passion, and we wanna see loyalty. So that's what I think. Who do you agree with? Is it Marky Mark, me, or JR? Now, everyone has their opinions about a super team. If you have opinions about it, make sure you, you know, comments on our Facebook page, on our, all our social media channels, The Crossover FTV. We wanna know what you think. Do you think Golden State is a super team like we mentioned in the beginning with Durant signing? Or do you think there is no such thing as a super team? You have your opinions.